Pleasure to have you join us in the program. Those watching us on terrestrial platforms, we also welcome our viewers from across the continent and beyond, watching us through our YouTube channel, TV47 Kenya, as well as on our website. We invite your feedback as we begin the program tonight. I'm George Maringa. Catherine Similoy is on sign language interpretation tonight. The control of budget is raising concerns that the government could be borrowing its own money while accessing overdrafts from the Central Bank of Kenya. According to a national government a budget report that was produced, or rather implementation review report, uh, of the year 2023-2024, the borrowing is affecting budget implementation. Other issues adversely affecting budget implementation include growth in travel expenditure, public debt exceeding legal limit, and increase in pending bills. Moiga William opens our broadcast tonight with the details of that report. Of how much political... The control of budget review report for the period covering 1st of July 2023 to the 31st of March 2024 shows that the central bank overdraft charges increased by 105% in the current review period compared to similar period in the financial year 2022-2023. This, according to the control of budget, is raising concerns about whether the government is borrowing its own money while at the same time accessing overdrafts from the central bank, an issue which has a negative impact on budget implementation. The control of budget recommends the adoption of the Treasury single account, arguing the move will significantly improve transparency and accountability in the use of public funds, even as an increase in gross expenditure for the national government increased significantly for the period under review. In the report, the control of budget further says state agencies are not complying with the directive to reduce travel expenditure. 12.33 billion shillings was used for domestic travel, while 5.85 billion shillings was spent on foreign travel, an increase of 29.2% growth over the same period in the last financial year. Some government ministries, departments and agencies did not submit clearance application or limiting the delegations, such as the directive limiting the delegations headed by cabinet secretaries to four persons and limiting the cumulative days away to a maximum of seven days per travel. 15 days per quarter and 45 days per year. According to the report, the outstanding national government pending bills as of 31st March 2024 amounted to 405.28 billion shillings for state corporations, while ministry, departments and agencies are yet to clear pending bills worth 81.5 billion shillings. The control of budget recommends timely regularization of the overdrawn budget lines through the supplementary budget and ratification of funding in line with the constitution, further asking accounting officers to adhere to the government guidelines on foreign travel to reduce budget on non-co-expenditure and save funds for key services. Mwege William, TV 40.